Hey everybody, welcome to what I'm using this week. I have a lot of projects to finish up this week and I probably won't get to a whole lot of new new um, projects or assignments or anything this week. So I'm just going to share some new things I've gotten in the mail, um, new products that I've ordered that I'm anxious to use and I'm hoping I get to this week and maybe next. Next week, I will not be having a what I'm using this week. I'm going to have a full week of tutorials showing things that have been requested by my blog readers. So um, I'm gonna better get started. The first thing I wanna share is this metallic stays on ink from Sukaneko. I got the platinum and the copper. And I just think these are really cool. I first saw them in use on Jennifer McGuire's blog and I wanted to try them out for myself and two peas in the bucket got them in stock so I ordered them. Um, the copper ink I picked up specifically to use with this next pro product that I want to share with you which is the Hero Arts Real Leaves Clear Stamps. And I just thought the leaves would look amazing stamped with that copper ink and then add some distress ink around them or other stamping or whatever. My other stamp pick this week that I believe I'll get a ton of use out of is this awesome fabulous flourish stamp from Hero Arts. And I know it came in their holiday Christmas catalog and collection but there's really nothing about this stamp that screams holiday specifically. I mean, it would be great with all your holiday pro projects and things, but I just think the shape of this flourish and everything is going to be perfect for so many projects. The next thing I want to share is not a new product at all. In fact, I got it on clearance over at Two Peas in a Bucket. It's these school die-cut journaling pad from Art Warehouse, and I really had no idea what size it was when I ordered it. Um, I like the journaling tags and things for my pages. I use them a lot for layering. And so I, I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll pick it up and see what, what it's like. But they're actually really big and really kind of nice. I mean, it has like where you can put grade and my teacher's name and my favorite thing, my best friends, you know, what I learned and things like that. And just lots of cute different designs. This one kind of has nothing on it. Then again, this one has a lot of that same information that I read on that first one, but just a different color and a different shape. And yet another one has a cute little tab on the bottom that says highlights. Just several more. And all, of, I mean, this could fill a school album for one of your children or several of your children. Um, I just was looking at this and thought, wow, you really get a lot. And I, like I said, the big size is perfect. So anyway, I did get this and because I've been thinking a lot lately about how I need to get caught up on my kids' school albums, I've kind of let that go. So I picked this up and I think that'll be a nice addition for their school books. Let's see, the next thing I wanna share is, I had shared, um, I believe maybe last week, that the new jelly bean soup was in at two peas and that I thought that I was going to be ordering it and I got it in and I thought I would share maybe a few of my favorite papers here. Um, some of these are kind of school-ish themed, I would call them, they, although they wouldn't have to be for school. This one here has a whole bunch of like math equations and things on it. I think that's fun. Cup of Equations, it's called. This one has little test tubes, which would be even cute if you did like science experiments and things. Then on the back, I really like it. It's kind of a graph looking paper. A lot of really nice basic designs. Just a nice brown with white design, but on the back, notebook type paper. So a lot of things you can get a lot of use out of. Um, again with that, I think this is from the same collection. Uh, let me look here. Yep, Atomic Soup is this collection. Kind of has like the the tape, the elements. It says this is stirred elements. 
On the back, it has another graph paper, but this one's yellow, which is a nice mix-up. So those are some more fun, could even be used with those school tags that I showed before from Art Warehouse. Um, my favorite collection, and this is actually my very favorite paper from the collection, is the pasta. I can't even say it. But anyway, I love this paper. I love those strips cut apart. They will be super cute. They can be used on cards, all kinds of things. On the back, a really nice white with blue polka dot. Then, this nice orange that coordinates with it with kind of a damask print. Red houndstooth. Then I've got, there's a green and like a small green floral print that coordinates. Another green floral paper here. And on the back, a really nice red scripty print. I can see myself using this collection a lot. Bold primary colors, but really fun um, prints and things like that. A really nice blue, kind of blue on blue floral, a nice stripe. There really isn't a paper in this line that I don't like. Cute, cute cameras with all of the papers that I've shown incorporated somehow into those little cameras and a nice yellow on the back. Yellow is just so popular right now. It's in everything. And then to kind of, I haven't got a lot of Halloween cutesy stuff this year, but I did go ahead and pick up some of their um, Monster Stew line. Here are the cutaway strips. So cute. I really love these little monsters down here at the bottom. And I love the little eyeballs. I think these will be fun incorporated into lots of things. I think these are just like their cut out tags and stuff, but a really nice purple on the back. And then an all over eyeball paper. I love this one. And a stripe. This star paper reminds me of old scenic route paper, but I really like that. Love stars. And then like a little teeny tiny white and orange print on the back. That one's hard to see. And just got another coordinating paper. Nice blue with stars on the back. I like that one. And then the all over monsters. I think those are cute. They remind me of the Hero Arts monster stamp set. And a nice graph paper on the back. And then to coordinate with all of those collections, I did pick up their journaling sprouts. Um, you can see a little bit better the designs there on the back. Just a nice assortment of these. I like, again, these are great for like tucking underneath paper strips and layering and things like that, adding dates or initials. So I always like little things like that. I don't always pick up a bunch of those because I don't need a ton, but these were really cute, so I went ahead and got those. And then my, I love that they came out with the Baker's Twine that matches their collections, but really could be used for anything. And these are such fun, bright colors that I haven't seen before. Um, orange and yellow and blue and like a lime green. So these are really fun. So I got those and I did pick up the sticker sheets as well. So you'll be seeing a lot of different things. I like that there's on their sticker sheets. I use a lot of these like label stickers tucked under and layered with the date and whatever. And cute little, they already have like the date or location all kinds of fun things like that and some really nice borders. They always have a nice scallop and some nice just strips. Cute little short strips down here at the bottom. Little uh, sticker buttons. So all kinds of fun things. So that is all that I have to share for you this week. And again, there won't be uh, what I'm using this week next week, but there will be one the following week. Um, but stay tuned for lots of how-to videos all next week. Thanks for watching.